Good afternoon and welcome. This is Moving Raleigh on Marty Hampton Radio and today I have got Sherry Riano with me from the Sherry Riano team. She's a mortgage lender in our area that has done an incredible job on helping people get in their first home, their second home, their retirement home. She is the lady with the answers of what you need to do with the mortgage and Sherry, what I want to know from you right now is uh, what about these rates going down? Well, Marty, first, thanks for having me. I really appreciate it. You know, the interest rates right now are at a two-year low. Um, an example is if you purchased last October through December, you had a rate of 4.875. That was the standard going rate. Today, we're at 3.875. So if you purchase that same home today, your payment would be $236 less per month. Oh, that is amazing. So, if you're so out there. So, go over those numbers with me again. How sure. much less? Last year it was 4.875. And this. Almost, almost 5%. Yes. And uh -huh. now we're at 3.875 or 3.75. So, you could purchase a half a million dollar home last year, this or this time, this year, and you'd pay $236 less than you would if you'd have purchased last October through December. That's amazing. I like yes. to save that money. I know, right? <laughs> There's a lot you can do. A lot of nice things you can put in the house with that I kind know. of money. And that, does that get a, a refinance surge? Are you getting a yes, refinance surge? Yes, we yourself? are having people really realize what's going on and may doing those monthly savings. I've actually locked in five customers over the last day. Whew. Yeah, they're going to save that money. <laughs> well, that's really important for people who are looking to stay in the home long term. But I tell you who else it's really important for, and that's the first time home buyer. Uh, yeah, exactly, okay. it is. You know, that kind of savings allows them to buy something and afford something more than they could have afforded last year in, in the fall. Mm -hmm. So it's a really good time for them to take advantage of buying this home, getting mm -hmm. in that new home, or even if you're moving up. Or downsizing it's a great time to buy it is it is a great time to buy and what that means is when people are making more applications for loans that means that the inventory is going to go down and down and from my point of view that means that the prices on the homes go up and up correct uh, so it's 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 such a uh, such an incredible time in real estate here in the triangle because we have an influx of new people that mm -hmm. are coming to this area and then we've got these great home rates. Mm -hmm. So tell me, what do you think the Fed's going to do today? I think the Fed's <laughs> going to maybe possibly even cut a quarter of a point. Wouldn't that be amazing? It would be amazing if they would. And I really do believe we may see that. So we'll have to uh, watch out and see what those gentlemen do today. <laughs> Absolutely. That's going to be fun. I'm going to watch that. You know, I've been in real estate for a long time. How long have you been in lending? I've been lending for 20 years. Yeah. So I've seen a lot of changes. Yeah. What's the highest interest rate you've seen during that period of time? Uh, the highest interest rate was about in 2006. We were right at 6%. That's the highest that I have seen. Oh, Sherry, I have been in real estate longer than you. <laughs> I have seen those rates uh, double digit. Wow. Double digit. Yeah. And I'll tell you what's interesting, uh, because, you know, we track home sales yes. here in the Triangle and been doing that over 20 years. And the market usually peaks at the end of June. Mm -hmm. But Sherry, because of interest rates, I've seen the market peak in January. So really, interest rates really do make the market. They are the driving factor. They definitely are. So, so what's the biggest misconception that you think people have about, let's just talk about first-time homebuyers. What's their biggest misconception about buying a home? I think they don't believe they have enough money for the down payment, which mm -hmm. there are many uh, down payment assistance programs for them out there. Um, and I believe that they think that it's cheaper to rent than mm -hmm. it is to buy. And they mm -hmm. don't know the importance of the asset of owning a home, the mm -hmm. tax write-off. There's so mm -hmm. many things that come with it, mm -hmm. and I don't think they really have uh, been educated on that. Oh, man. I, I, how old were you when you bought your first home? Um, I was 22. 22? I was a little bit older. I was 20, 26, 27 years old. But... Uh, it is definitely something that helps you begin your mm -hmm. financial future. Mm -hmm. So does. that's an important thing. And you know, Sherry, honestly, I'm not sure that you could make a bad buy below 200000 in our market. I would agree with that. I mean, Between you could just the be... appreciation they're right. going to have, and with rates being as low, that's a win-win on is, both angles. It is a win-win. So tell me about the down 
payment assistant programs? Sure. How many? So there are probably in our area, there's a little over probably five or six that are really strong. There are probably a total of 10. Um, they're all dependent on income levels, credit scores, debt to income ratios. You really want to reach out to an expert and have a conversation so that they can understand what they really do qualify for. Right, yeah. right. And of course, looking at it, real estate from my side, I know that one of the challenges that they face is when somebody comes in with one of the down payment assistant programs, mm -hmm. if they're not fully pre-approved in the beginning mm -hmm. of that or as much approval as you can get, I realize some of them have to go through government entities. They do. That's the truth. That is the truth. But if we can get them fully approved, let's mm -hmm. say for an FHA loan, mm -hmm. we can get them fully approved up front except mm -hmm. for the appraisal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can, and we do it all the time. Uh -huh. um, the only thing we have to do is submit it to the particular down payment assistant program so they can give me the write-off, but I can do everything up front. My staff prides herself in getting people approved up front so there are no guessing games. You know exactly what to expect. Isn't that awesome? It is. <laughs> the only way to buy a home. You know, and uh, Sherry works with our clients, and one thing she does that is, goes beyond what a normal lender would do is she'll pick up the phone and call the seller's agent and say, hey, this is not just one of those fly-by-night pre-approval letters, which we in the industry know is not worth the paper that it's written on. And this is somebody that I've got fully approved. The only thing we need is the appraisal on your home and we've got a, a loan that we can close very quickly. That's tremendous. I started that process about two years ago and it's really, really made a difference for my clients getting multiple offer deals. Mm -hmm. It makes them stronger and I've even beat out cash deals with that kind of situation going on, which I love is phenomenal. It. Yeah. Yeah. Having our clients get in the home they want. The um, I'm going to talk to you, probably not on this podcast, but about a new partner of us. Do you know about Ribbon? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, Ribbon has been an incredible asset also for first time home buyers. And at some point in time, we need to have a long conversation okay. about um, using some of the closing costs that we might get paid for a buyer of buyers to pay back uh, what Ribbon would charge them. Because what Ribbon does, by the way, um, if you don't know, is Ribbon will actually come in and make a cash offer for a first-time home buyer that is fully, fully approved mm -hmm. through. Uh, Sherry's team and that way when they go to buy a house they don't lose that house they actually have got a good chance of getting the very best buy in the market on that house because they're making a cash offer that can close in 17 days that's yeah. pretty good that's very strong <laughs> very strong yeah we definitely want to talk about that in the future mm -hmm. so what do you see finishing out this year and going into next year do you think uh, there'll be a lot of movement on interest rates going into election year next year? Um, I believe we may see some, but potentially we could see some recession and that would do some relieving of interest rates. You know, if you look at the history of going through our country and having recessions, interest rates drop anywhere between a half and a quarter, quarter of a point to almost a full point in interest rates. So that'll be another drop. We're already historically low, so we may even see some more changing that would make it more advantageous to purchase next year. Ooh, she said the R word, folks. That was recession. I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that, is, that is so cool. But I'll tell you what's recession proof. And what's recession proof is when you've got no more homes that are 200,000 and you've got mm -hmm. no more homes that are 250 in, in right. uh, convenient locations. True. That's pretty recession proof because those homes is, oh, uh, what was it I heard years ago said um, there was uh, just this millionaire that it was buying up all the beachfront property because mm -hmm. they're not making any more. more. Yep. They're not making any more of <laughs> well, those. Well, they're not making any more of those price homes in prime locations. Yeah. So you're having to go out a long, long ways. And one of the things I noticed during the last recession, Sherry, is that people, the, the subdivisions that went out way far away from Raleigh in the secondary markets, they went down on value. And they you know, if you, if you get that old thing in real estate, location, 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 you can pretty much win every time. Mm -hmm. Sherry, anything else you want to say to these good folks about loans and uh, interest rates? Well, only if you know, like I said, if you bought last year in uh, the late fall, um, early winter, think about refinancing. The time is now. We've seen some appreciation. If you didn't put 20% down, may be able to actually refinance and get rid of your PMI on top of Ooh. a lower rate. So you could almost Ooh. see an effect of a, 
a $300 reduction in payment. So if you have any questions, please, we'd, we'd love to, uh, I do an annual review. I look at your mortgage statements, send an al analysis out for you so you can look at it and see if it makes sense for you and your family. Well, here's, here's a question. I got another okay. question, last minute question. How many people go ahead and pay that PMI insurance long after they shouldn't be paying it? A lot because they are not educated on when they can request to actually have it removed. Okay, and so do they ever get that money back? Let's say they do not. It, money does not come back. It's non-refundable. <laughs> Breaking news. Not refundable. Oh. Yeah. So, so you all, you really need to check the value on your home almost yearly. Absolutely, you should. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Annual review for the value and for where your interest rate and and, and homeowners insurance. There's a lot of things that change. That's why we want to get together and, and review what you've got. It takes a few minutes and we're happy to do it. That's awesome. That's awesome. Folks, you've heard some really good nuggets here today if you're a homeowner. And even if you aren't a homeowner, this is the way to become a homeowner and start your financial future on the solid rock of residential real estate, something that uh, I've been very fond of for about 30 years. So thank you so much, Sherry, for joining us. Thank you, us. Marty, for having me. That's it us. For, that's it for Moving Raleigh, the podcast telling you about local real estate and trying to keep you up to date. Have a great day. Bye-bye.